finally get done with camp, start the season tomorrow. What's kind of been your, your takeaways from your fall, your fall preseason camp, and what's kind of your expectations going into tomorrow? Our players are ready to go play against someone other than themselves. We've had a long training camp preseason, 30 practices. We had an exhibition game, a scrimmage, and some inter-squad scrimmages. So we're excited to get going, and I know our players, uh, we have five new freshmen that have never played a college game. We have some returnees and some seniors that are uh, ready to go. How much does that exhibition game against Villanova, just the experience and having a crowd, help with so many new players on the team? I thought it was great for our program to play a high-level game against such a great team in Villanova and to have a crowd to get some early season jitters out of the way. So tomorrow when we open it for real, uh, we've already been there, we've done that. Now it's only been one game, so we have a lot of growing and learning to do, but I thought it was very important to get that out of the way. What have you learned about this team during the preseason camp? I think we're tough mentally, we're physically strong, we have some size, uh, our guard play is much improved. So we have a lot of different lineups we can play, big, small, in between. Uh, but at the end of the day, we have to play good defense and we have to compete, and I think we'll be fine. As far as the lineups, is that still a work in progress for you? Is that something you have to see you know, in actual games as well to kind of figure out exactly what you want to do throughout the season? I think as deep as we are with 11 quality players, we only have 11 eligible to play. So every player in our roster can go in. We feel comfortable as a coaching staff to play everybody on our team, extended minutes. So it'll be game to game. I think some games, certain individuals will stand out. Other games, it'll be someone else's turn. But that's uh, the quality of our depth this season. And then Florida A&M coming in, uh, what do you kind of know about them? And in the first game, is it tough to kind of scout a team, you know, based on there being new guys and new bodies and stuff? I think it's hard in a preseason or, or out of conference season, especially in November, because you just don't have the body of work, the personnel of each player, the, the tendencies, their offense, defense. So we'll, we'll have a, uh, we're just going to focus on ourselves, play our game, and hopefully uh, we'll execute the right way and play hard enough on defense to have a good chance of winning. One of the things that when you have 11 guys and you're 11 deep, you can go tempo if you want to. Is that something you want to try to use a little bit more this season? We always try to play faster. We try to play unselfish. We try to share the ball, spread the floor on offense. Defensively, we try to press a little bit. We try to speed the tempo up if we can. But a lot of that stems from our defense. If you can get steals, deflections, block shots, and rebound the ball, you can get out and run. And with young point guards on the, on the roster, does it partly come down to how well they can take care of the ball as well? Well, point guard play is extremely uh, important for us this season. We had so, such great point guards with Jordan McLaughlin and D'Anthony Melton, who's now in the NBA. Both guys are in the NBA now. So uh, we expect our, our two freshmen, Kyle and Ethan, to, to be terrific basketball players for us. And Elijah Weaver as a sophomore combo guard will handle the ball a lot too.